I'm Paul Fletcher, Australia's Minister for Communications. It's great to be here at the UTS Tech Lab here in Botany and particularly to learn about the wonderful collaboration between UTS and Nokia. Nokia, of course, one of the world's leading manufacturers and developers of telecommunications, networking equipment and devices. And UTS, of course, one of Australia's uh, leading research universities with a very strong focus on close engagement between the world of academia and business and industry. And it's been fascinating to learn a little bit today about how these two great uh, organisations are coming together to work on the delivery of 5G. 5G, of course, is going to transform the way that we live. It's going to transform the way that we do business. It's so critical for the Internet of Things, for smart manufacturing. It means many more choices for consumers in terms of high bandwidth connections to their home. For gamers, 5G will be transformational. So 5G is a really big deal. And the Morrison government is certainly backing 5G very strongly. I've called this the year of 5G. We've completed the 26 uh, gigahertz auction and we are well underway to complete the auction for uh, sub one gigahertz a bit later this year. So a lot going on uh, and of course we've also got our 5G innovation initiative and it's been terrific to learn a little bit about the Cobot project here, one of the projects that's been funded under the Morrison government's uh, 5G innovation initiative. So I can I congratulate everybody at Nokia, everybody at UTS who's involved in this. It's a wonderful example of collaboration between business and between academia, between those who are developing networks and devices to be sold in the market, and those with the research expertise and insights to help take it forward to the next level. I've really enjoyed my visit, and I know there's gonna be a huge amount of productive and exciting work done here over coming months and years. So uh, I'm very pleased that this project is now, or this, this lab, this uh, joint initiative is now officially open and underway and I really look forward to seeing the great work that's going to come out of it over the future.